James chapter 1, verse 22. This is James, the brother of Jesus, writing. He says, be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. James says, if you show up here Sunday after Sunday and hear the word but don't do anything with it, you're deceived. You're deceiving yourself if you think it's going to do any good to just hear it but not act on it. He says, you're deceiving yourself if you're only a hearer of the word. He goes on to say that if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man who intently looks at his natural face in a mirror. How many of I did that last week? I was looking intently, and I said, man, I'm getting some gray hairs. Man. This guy's getting old. Who is this old man looking back in the mirror at me? Well, that's how I felt anyway. Hey, hey, whatever, all right. I'm trying to relate to the older crowd, you know, I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. I actually thought, you know, it'd be, it'd be pretty cool if I got a couple more of these, then maybe I could, like, some older people would listen more to me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and he goes away and at once forgets what he was like. James says to hear the word and not do it. It's like staring at your face in the mirror, and as soon as you turn away, you can't remember what you look like. He says, but the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, Amen. being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. Amen. Again, we see the blessing in obeying the word of God. It's everywhere through the scriptures. You want to have a blessed life, a life that's blessed by God? Obey his word. Love his word. Delight in his word. Jesus says man can't live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You need that spiritual nourishment Daily. How many of you, if you go a day without eating a meal, you know it, you realize it? I do. If I, I can't hardly, I can't miss a meal. I get hangry. That's hungry and angry. I am not pleasant to be around when I am hungry. And you are not pleasant, and I am not pleasant to be around when we're running on empty. We got to feed our souls. We got to eat this spiritual food for us, and we got to do it daily. And so today, I want us as a church to make a commitment that 2016 is going to be a year of the Word. A year of the Word. And so that's not 52 Sundays a year that are going to be a year of the word. That is 365. 366. It's a leap year. Thank you, Mom. You thought I was going to let you off the hook for that one day. No. 366 days. Make an appointment with God. Open up his word. You will live a blessed life. You will pass it on to the generations that are coming behind you.